What is up YouTube? Welcome back here to another video. Uh, thanks for tuning into the channel. So today, kind of going about my uh, normal routine here, trailer. Um, that's kind of my plan. I haven't made a video in a while. I can tell that I am a little rusty. I forgot to record the first thing that I was doing with the hooking up to the trailer. Um, forgot to hit the uh, record button, so missed all that. Yeah, uh, I know, but whatever. So, this really isn't so much about the truck today. I really haven't had uh, much going on with it. It's pretty much just last thing I think you guys saw was the oil pan maybe or something. And uh, ever since then, I've just been driving it. So, decided to do a video today on what basically uh, built this truck, which is my little uh, lawn care side ordeal. And uh, just gonna kind of explain my setup and how I got started and whatever. So that's why I have the truck hooked up here, is we are going to uh, put everything on the trailer and go over all the equipment and uh, yeah, and kind of, I'm gonna kind of tell my story about it, so. Alright, so what you guys just saw there is basically my routine every day. Uh, hook up to the trailer, put everything onto it, and uh, yeah. So, equipment wise, what do we have here? So, for the stand on mower, we have a right stander ZK with the 37 horsepower Vanguard and a 52 inch deck. You can see actually just recently I got done putting on a uh, light bar and I did some lights back here so you can see at night. Put a little switch panel right there, two switches. Um, we do have a Big Lawn, Big League Lawns LLC roller on the back and uh, that's that. And then for the push mower we have a Honda HRC 216 commercial hydrostatic so this push mower is actually pretty cool it actually has a which you can see it right it's right behind this cover but it's actually like a PTO shaft like on a tractor um, so it's shaft drive the transmission in the back and it actually has a little hydrostatic transmission like you would see in like a lawn tractor or whatever and it's shaft driven by that PTO shaft so there's no belts or anything and uh, it's just a really heavy duty unit the only thing is is it's a very heavy push mower I think it's right around probably like 130 140 pounds which is extremely heavy um, I've always used Hondas I actually have an old uh, HRX in there um, I've had eight, two HRXs before, but the problem with them is they're, they get a little, they're not designed for to be used like this every day. And they get a little bit, the wheels get wobbly and they kind of get worn out pretty quick. But this thing is a tank, but if you're going to be a little bitch about push mowing, this probably isn't the mower for you because it's extremely heavy and I'm not going to lie, it gets annoying, but it, it's a tank. Um, for the leaf blower... Um, mind you guys too I got all of this stuff except the trailer this all of this equipment you see here is new this year so um, this is an echo PB 8010T absolutely love this thing it's pretty much one of the most powerful backpack blowers you can pretty much buy right now 
Um, I had a steel BR700 before. What I didn't like about it was it lacked in mile per hour. I think it was only like 160 miles per hour. Don't quote me on this, but I think this one is around 210 or 230 mile per hour and like 1100 CFM. The steel had like 900 CFM. So the steel would blow leaves really good, but it was terrible at blowing grass. This thing kills it at everything. Um, it's just an absolute powerhouse. I love it. Recently picked this up too. Steel FS94R trimmer. Um, everything looks so nice because I just washed everything up this weekend. But uh, the blower and the trimmer are only maybe two months old. Uh, the mower I got at the beginning of the season, same with the push mower. So everything's only a few months old. The trailer we have had, this is actually our family trailer, but I pretty much just use it. And uh, we've had this thing for probably five years, six years now, doing great. Um, I have a little toolbox up here with um, some gas, mixed gas, some straps. I have a headlamp in here for at night. If I get stuck out, I can put that on my head and trim and leaf blow and everything. Um, carburetor tuning tools, straps, bungees, extra string, just all that good stuff. Um, probably one of the biggest things people see on my trailer that they love is these straps which they are I don't know if you can see the brand there cargo buckle brand I think so basically you flip the lever up and it's free but you see how they're spring-loaded they retract so you hook hook it on tighten up your Tighten it up, and then when you're ready to release it, you just unhook. They automatically retract. Everyone asks about those. Um, my dad actually found those. Probably the best thing about this trailer, honestly. Then I recently did these two, these Gorilla Lifts. Um, absolutely back saver for the gate. Uh, highly recommend those. Even for just anyone that uses a trailer or a lot with a heavy gate I mean they're a lifesaver so uh, yeah I had to do a little mod back here because the cable was actually coming and hitting this back part back here so I bought this little pulley extra little pulley so that when the gate goes down but yeah that is my setup um, that is everything all very nice equipment I'm very happy with everything as far as trimmers, I'll show you. This was actually my old trimmer, which is set down here, which is a Husqvarna 326 LS. <clears throat> this thing was pretty good to me. Had some uh, warranty work early on because the carburetor was flooding the engine and it actually hydrolocked the engine but they took care of it and uh i recently just put a carburetor on it it was kind of leak getting leaky again dumping fuel into the intake put a new carburetor on for like 20 30 bucks and it's been running like a champ since but i needed to I, that's why i got a new one is this one was just being a little too unreliable and i had another old husqvarna 123l that was about 12 years old but it had no power so I figured I'd make this a good backup and then have that as my daily trimmer. But here is an old, um, actually this is an HRM model that we actually had that we've kind of forgot about. But this thing is really old. It's in pretty good shape. Um, actually having the uh, handles powder coated right now, they were pretty rusty. Other than that, this thing is in beautiful shape, but like weight wise, this thing is a paperweight compared to that HRC out there. I had an HRX before and then another HRX, I believe, before that one. But they are, the HRX with the plastic deck and even this one, the old, old one, they're great mowers. Um, I always do Honda push mowers. They're by far the best. Put my sunglasses on so I'm not squinting everywhere like an idiot. But uh, 
Yeah, guys, sorry if this video is a little, like, it's a lot of just talking, and some of you guys may not really care about anything lawn care, but I figure I needed decided to, I decided to start doing some of this because, like I said, this is what has built this truck and every other truck that I've owned. Um, I had a Dodge Ram 1500 before this that I did a bunch of stuff to. I had a little Ford Ranger that was an absolute nightmare and had to put an engine in and everything. So, I mean, this little business... And it is just me. This little business has allowed me to do everything and learn everything and spend money on this truck and learn stuff and whatever. So, um, how I got started was long before this truck. Uh, <clears throat> I actually did it with a good friend that used to live up the street here. He's probably 10 or 15 years older than me. And um, what had happened was his dad did it and then he started doing it because his dad had a stroke. His dad just did it on the side, kind of used it to pay for vacations and stuff. So then he started doing it, and then I, I started helping him. And then he got a promotion at work, couldn't do it anymore. So then I, he just gave it to me, and there was maybe 10, 10 people. And this, meanwhile, this was all push mowing. This was long before these push mowers. All we ever used was just like craftsmen, just cheap push mowers. No, no self-propelled, nothing. Um, we would just toss two, two mowers in the back of a pickup, his little pickup. Um, I took a trimmer and a handheld leaf blower with me. And that was what we did for two or three years. And then even after he gave it to me, I did that for like another two years, just push mowing. Then... Um, a family relative of ours gave me a little craftsman um, cheap little lawn tractor it was like a 42 inch or something I ran that for a year or two and then I got that is when I purchased a John Deere 652R standard similar to this but John Deere had it for a year used it for a year absolutely hated it probably one of the worst investments ever um, Spent a year trying to get rid of it. Completely lost my ass on it. Um, actually, still I'm paying for it, and I haven't owned it for six months now. I'm still going to be paying for it. Stupidest thing ever. Big lesson learned. Um, then did my research. I was either going to get a Skag V-Ride or this Wright Stander. I liked the Wright because I could get the 37 horsepower Vanguard EFI engine um, in a 52-inch. They're the only brand that you can do that with. And uh, this machine is absolutely amazing. I love it. It was worth every penny. I got it with 45 hours on it. And it already had that roller on the back. And it has a grass catcher on, that I can put on the side too. Um, got a pretty good deal on it. Um, paid for it just up front. No loan. Nothing. I uh, wish I would have done that with the John Deere. But uh, the good thing with the Deere was I had 0% interest. So it's not a big deal. But still pissed about that machine it was a piece of junk um yeah stay away from right or not right uh john deere standers they are garbage they're overpriced and they're junk they suck anyway um by the way i am not paid by any of these companies uh obviously um i'm giving you honest reviews so you can always expect that and what i will be doing in the future will be I'm going to do a review video on every single separate piece of equipment, just breaking it down. And, um, but yeah, so, and then once I got this, this is probably like my fifth or sixth year, fifth year, maybe I would say doing, doing it with a setup similar to this, you know, pretty nice equipment. Uh, and uh, I love it. I have about 22 customers right now and it's just, it's just enough that it's part time basically. And. I can still do other stuff, um, really trying to work with Mark a lot. We are trying to find a shop and whatever, um, and he's really where I really want to grow a career with, so I'm going to try and keep this around like 25 clients just so I can do it on the side and still have some money coming in because it's still pretty labor intensive, but uh, yeah, um, so yeah, that's my setup. I'm not gonna lie, hauling it with this truck is kind of funny because you don't even really know it's there. Another th quick thing is I really don't use this truck anymore. I hooked it up because this is the setup I've ran for like the past two or three years. But this year, 
I don't really use this thing much anymore because when I did that steering stuff you guys probably remember you know the straight center link and all that this thing oh, I gotta turn my mic um, yeah sorry if you couldn't hear me there but this thing with the straight center link and all that it just does not turn that well uh, it, it makes it really hard to back this trailer up and sometimes I got to back into people's driveways so I actually I have a 2002 little trailblazer up there with 240,000 miles on it and I actually have been starting to use that it pulls this trailer just fine this isn't very heavy as you can see I mean maybe 3,000 pounds at the most with everything on it including the trailer it's aluminum trailer so yeah I use that little trailblazer because that thing is so maneuverable compared to this it's just ridiculous I mean I have no problems turning around or backing this trailer up with that trailblazer I mean it's funny that I'm using that little piece of junk but why put the wear and tear on this um, you know short drives and all that stuff when I can just run that little thing that's maybe worth a thousand bucks or whatever and 240,000 miles so yeah I don't use this as much anymore if I have long drives and uh, I'll use this but for anything that's in neighborhoods and whatnot I just hook up to that little trailblazer because it's night and day this thing just can't turn good anymore it's really bad um, I love the four-wheel drive launch and stuff I mean the front end is so solid on this thing it's crazy but uh, yeah you beware that you do lose some serious turning radius with that straight center link so um, but yeah so that is my setup that is it so that being said guys I'm gonna wrap this video up I know that was just a lot of talking and BSing but uh, like I said I kind of wanted to make this video in uh, make this video just for you guys to kind of understand where I what I came from and how I did this truck and how I paid for it and everything and uh, yeah it's it's a great little way to make some extra money lawn stuff I mean it is I've met a lot of good people I've built a lot of good relationships and uh, yeah so hope you guys found this uh, interesting this is my setup for this year and probably the rest of the years that I do this hopefully um, but uh, yeah like I said look forward to those review videos if any of you guys are interested in equipment and whatever um, I've done a lot of research on it and know a decent bit so I mean yeah uh, if you have any questions let me know thanks for tuning in guys and uh, we will see you on the next one